Stories of the Companions, Chapter 11S, Hassan's Knowledge of Islam, the greatest of the Sayyids, Hassan radiallahu anhu was born in Ramadan, 3rd Hijri. He was thus a little over seven years old at the time of Rasulullah's death. In spite of his tender age, quite a few ahadith have been narrated by him. Abd al Haura once asked him, Do you remember any saying of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? He said, Yes, once I was going with him. On the way, I saw a large, a large quantity of dates of sadaqah piled up at one place. I took a date from the pile and put it into my mouth. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Cock, cock. You know, that's an explanation of disapproval. And then he took out the date from my mouth with the help of his finger, saying, Eating sadaqah is not permissible for us. You know, the family of the Prophet. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had taught me how to say my five times daily salah. Hassan radiallahu anhu says, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam advised me to recite the following prayer for my winter salah. Allahumma ahdidni fiman hadaita wa athidni fiman athaita wa tawalani fiman tawalita wa barikli fima athaita wa benni Sharima ba data ba anaka takti wala yukta alaika inahu la yadilu man walaita tabarakta rabana wa ta alight wa ta Okay. All divinity, guide me along with those whom you have guided. Keep me in ease along with those whom thou hast kept as such. Be my protecting friend along with those whose protecting friend thou hast blessed me. In what thou hast granted me, grant me protection. They had been ordained for me, for thy decision is final and nobody can decide against thy will. He who has thee as a protecting friend cannot be abased. O our sustainer, thou art blessed and thou art the highest. Hassan radiallahu anhu narrates that he heard the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, The person who keeps sitting till sunrise at the place where he said his fajr prayers shall be saved from Jahannam. Hassan radiallahu anhu performed Hajj, Hajj many times by covering the distance from Medina to Mecca on foot. And when asked about his reasons for undergoing such hardships, he said, I feel ashamed to face Allah after my death without having gone to Mecca on foot for pilgrimage to his house. Hassan is known for his piety and mildness. He is responsible for narrating many a hadith collected by Ahmed in his Musnad. The author of Talqi, of Talqi has included Hassan radiallahu anhu among those who have reported as many as 13 Hadith. To have memorized so many a hadith at the age of seven shows his devotion to Islam and his remarkable memory. On the other hand, our children at this age generally do not know even the elements of Islam. Now, when we say um, a hadith, that's typically the term used for the next generation. So the vast majority of what he knew, he got from, well, from, from his father. When the Shia talk about their things, when they say one of the imams said it, they mean that imam from that imam from that imam to the, you know, to the prophet. That's the chain that they refer to um, because it's setting forth an example of people who directly turn to the revelation and the inspiration and understand it without anybody else's commentary per se um, and are very you know, careful aside from that. They don't just take narrations from everybody.